so I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the next performer. They just left the stage completely killing it. That was most that was beautiful. That was a beautiful did y'all enjoy y'all that last set? Did y'all enjoy that? Yeah. Oh, yes, they were. So we're gonna bring back up to the stage Miss Megan Ripley. What's up, how y'all doing? Oh, y'all went on break and got lazy on me. How you doing? You having a good time? Oh, you done got a drink, you done heard a poem, and you just like, I'm gonna sit back. No! This is still an interactive space. You give love, I give love. You get free, we get free. Is that all right with y'all say word? Word! Palabra. Palabra. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do this poem. Uh, it was actually important to me that I do this here because this is a poem that's about body dysmorphia disorder, which is something that a lot of women suffer from and a lot of women suffer from don't even know that they do. It's when you look at yourself in the mirror and you see something different than what's actually there. And seeing your beauty, um, you see what the world puts on you. And these ladies are up here getting super free and it's beautiful and loving their bodies and embracing their bodies um, and embracing their power. So this poem is about finding that place. It's called Fight Club. First rule of body dysmorphic disorder is you do not talk about body dysmorphic disorder. I am Megan's pitch tongue coiled behind brittle teeth that are shame for caging me, venomous cesspool, sufficient for breeding, I evolve esophagus, spinal column, slither into frontal cortex, find a home, I could curse in peace, see there's less blame when you don't hate yourself out loud. Woo. Second rule of body dysmorphic disorder is you do not talk about body dysmorphic disorder. I am locked bathroom door, I am pinched C-section scar, I am biology, brought into spare life, miracle spat on in the mirror, I am whitened hips, twisted into denim that makes us thinner, I cannot breathe, when you're taught it, I am Megan's flower garden of rash and scab skin, picked at and over-examined, pockmarked and scarred from being so sensitive to certain detergents and strangers sweat, I break out a lot less than I used to, I guess. Over time, I've gotten used to these cells. Third rule of body dysmorphic disorder. If it's your first night, you have to fight junior year. Tiffany Randolph sucker punched me through my window. The entire ride home, I tongued the salty pulp of split lip, refused ice, stared into the rear view and grinned. Look, there is fresh flesh under there. Fourth rule of body dysmorphic disorder is only two men to a fight. Do not call attention. Break hating yourself down into sessions. Mark it on your calendar. Arms this week, torso and thighs on Sunday. Show enough skin to convince them of a little normal. There is nothing to see here. Repeat. There is nothing to see here. Repeat. There is nothing to see. Fifth rule of body dysmorphic disorder is only one fight at a time. Do not call attention. Hide it from your lover, your family family, your God, this is between you and whoever keeps showing up in the mirror. Sixth rule huh. of body dysmorphic disorder. If someone yells stop, goes limp, taps out, the fight is over for now. Let it heal, let it be until you just can't pretend pretty anymore. Scratch graffiti into skin, tell them this is what it feels on the inside. Tell them you're tired of getting mixed up between the two. Tell them the greatest trick the devil ever pulled on you was the vanishing of God from your reflection. Seventh rule, a body is a perfect disorder. It's no shirt, no shoes, no perfect ass jeans will convince you. Call yourself ugly, fuck with the lights off. Keep mistaking Woo! naked for a synonym for shame. We've been trained to believe that we are not beautiful just the way we are. We are thought I'm a malevolent media, I am tyrus tits, I am hiding thighs, I am a five-page spread with all the pride photoshopped from the model's eyes. I am a generation of women <laughs> to be complacent as they convince us that these monsters in the mirror ate our reflections and stand behind the glass smiling awkward girls.
Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Megan Ray.